King Day, a rally of people in support of all rights or just some rights. Obviously, it's a mixed group of people, so I hope we're here for all rights. Anyways, well, good turnout. The weather is nice. Let's see what people have to say here. Um, well, I'm excited to be here. This is my first uh, my first march here at uh, ISU. Um, happy about the turnout. I'm very surprised about the turnout, uh, but I'm just happy that the community came out. I see students, community members. Um, it just looks great. I'm excited about the march and uh, the activities up at the PAC. Uh, I think it's going to be a good time. What's your name? I usually need to know that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Stefan Jordan. Can I have one question? Huh? Sure. Uh, you know, there is this petition going around to put on the ballot the Pocatello Bill of Rights. We're collecting a number of signatures. We only need about 2,000 signatures to actually put it on the ballot, be the first in the country. We'd like to know if you could encourage any people from the NAACP student group to be participatory. This is not a political thing. Yes. This is our rights. This is okay. our rights, correct. So, um, most definitely. Uh, Nicole here is our uh, president of the NAACP club. She's uh, uh, very involved. She loves to get people involved, so I think it'd be very easy to get a few of our, uh, a few more signatures from the NAACP club on that ballot or on that uh, bill of rights. Martin Luther King rally getting ready. What a beautiful day.
This many people actually sign the signatures or put it on the ballot for the Pocatello Bill of Rights, we would have it there. And even with the police officers, look at joining the parade here. Enjoy it. Police officers for peace. Figures are women. <laughs> Need more men. Come on, where's the men out here? Where's the men? And here's our fearless leader leading the way. I'm like I standing in a crowd. People <laughs> are leaving. Where are they going? I did it all the time anyway. I guess hopefully we get them the rest of the polls and they put the Pocatello Bill of Rights on the ballot. Ah, there goes the press. Yeah, no, we've never got them. Yeah, channel 3 and 8, and we got the Pocatello. Nope, oh, that's the Pocatello State Journal. That's a. Oh, that's nice to see our Pocatello Police Department leading the way, protecting our citizens, good citizens here, with our right to have a say, the right to free speech. At least today. Apparently, when you get enough people, you can say what you want. And there's only a few uh, at City Hall. Well, that's a different story, isn't it? Anyways, it's nice to see people going by the life science complex. Speech, language. Yes, things are important in our society. A way to educate, a way to share, a way to make a future. Let's promote life in this community. Let's promote freedom in this community. Let's promote our Bill of Rights here in our community, especially the Pocatello Bill of Rights as the channel. This guy comes running by in the new channel. Hey, <laughs> Journal. <laughs> Getting this shot. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, I'm for Rana. Yes, yes, yes. They are worth the fight. They are worth the fight. Human rights. Human rights. Human rights. Okay, we even got the Greeks involved. That's where a lot of it started, right? Learn all your rights as a young person. Know your rights. Let's not have any clashing. Know your rights. Look at that togetherness here. Now if we only get them on the ballot, put them on the ballot, get to the ballot polls, and all these people, even two of them, get two friends to sign this initiative, we'll have it on the ballot and have our rights here in Pocatello restored fully. I had a dream. I had a dream last night. Got a person with a tattoo that had their rights restored here in Pocatello. Got a person with a dot on their forehead might have their rights restored in Pocatello. I had a dream that some men can marry other men. Wait a minute, I think that one happened. <laughs> I had another dream. I had a dream <laughs> that older men are not going to be biased and prejudiced against. I had another dream that older women would not be biased and prejudiced against. Boy, I've had one dream after another about our rights and the lack of them here in Pocatello. Again, it all is a number game. Education, the Holt Arena, the Mini Dome, Department of Education. I had a dream that all these people were marching to the ballot poll in May in Pocatello, 2015, being the first state in the country to put and enforce the Bill of Rights, the entire Bill of Rights on our local book for Pocatello. Yes, I have that dream. I have the dream that these people here will just reach out to one friend and they could get enough signatures to put it on the ballot in Pocatello. I have a dream that people will educate people about public initiative. We are a public initiative state. Idaho is a public initiative state. Idaho is public initiative at state level, county level, and city level. And if we can't get our government to a higher level to change, 
and we can do it at this level, Pocatello level. I have a dream. I have a dream that these people standing up for everyone's rights, with a tattoo or without, with a dress on or without, with pants on or without, with long hair or short or bald, with sneakers rather than wingtips, with business suits and not. I have a dream that people with a uniform or not in uniform will stand up for what we believe in. We'll make the effort to put it on the ballot in Pocatello. I have that dream. Do these people have the dream? All the signatures I've collected is showing the way. I have a dream that they'll all go to the ballot poll in May and vote for public initiative of the Pocatello Human Rights. <laughs> I have a dream that people stand up for gay rights will stand up for other people's rights. I have a dream that African American people with background, cultural roots, will also stand up for other people, with a tattoo or without. I have a dream that it doesn't matter whether you're into the university or not. I have a dream that we will all stand up for each other, that we all will clean up Pocatello. I have a dream that we will clean up the contamination of Pocatello. I have a dream that these people are racing to make the decision to do something in our community, to protect the lives of our children, our students, our loved ones. I have a dream that we may save people here in many ways. I, I have a dream that they'll come by busloads to change Pocatello. I have a dream that they will come by busloads to sign the petition to put the Pocatello Bill of Rights on the ballot. I have a dream that we will clean up Pocatello from uranium contamination. I have a dream.